Hello and welcome to your Region This Week's At Home Edition and COVID-19 Local Update. I'm Anandi Carol Woolery. After becoming the first reporter and first news anchor in North America to wear a hijab on air, Janella Massa has challenged the stigma again by hosting her own national news program on CBC called Canada Tonight. Janella sits down in an exclusive interview with your Region This Week producer, Robert Kubinga, and talks about her journey from Rogers TV to CBC. You started at Rogers TV in Peel Region, made your way up through CTV Kitchener, becoming the first reporter in North America to wear a hijab on air, became the first uh, anchor to host uh, City News Toronto again with a hijab on air, which is which is amazing. And now at CBC, Let, let's let's talk about through that journey. Yeah, you know, a lot is made of uh, me getting my start on air at CTV Kitchener, but really, even before that, Rogers TV was the one who, who put me on air first. Um, of course, it was a volunteer uh, position, uh, but I learned so much uh, through Rogers TV in Peel, working as a host. They also helped me get some videography experience, which was really vital to me landing my first job. Um, I started out in the industry as an intern at CTV Toronto, um, and that kind of opened the door for me to, to get my first job as an editorial assistant um, in the newsroom there. And it was a huge learning curve. It's one of the largest local newsrooms in the country. Um, and I was working at the assignment desk. So, you know, uh, anyone who, who understands news, that is kind of the hub and and really the heartbeat of a newsroom. Um, you know, you're assigning cameras, you are fielding calls, um, you are trying to chase or um, set up interviews uh, and stories. So you're kind of um, where where the stories sort of begin. <laughs> um, and so there's a lot of pressure to um, you know in in one of the biggest markets in the country. And uh, I learned a lot, made a lot of mistakes, but I was lucky to have people there. Um, who uh, really mentored me, you know, the managing editor there um, one of the, was one of the people who kind of gave me a chance and, and would, you know, help teach me and, and have patience when I made mistakes, which isn't always the case in this industry. So, you know, um, I, I did that for uh, about a year and a half, then I moved on. I was a Chase producer at CTV News Channel for two, three years. But in the meantime, I was also volunteering at Rogers TV in Peel because my goal was to be on air. That's something that I really wanted to do. And my first job in Kitchener, um, I applied for that job three times <laughs> before I got hired. So there's something to be said about persistence. And they did, you know, every time they turned me down, I would ask, you know, why or, or what I was, what skills I was still needing. And so they would give me feedback. And one of the feedback was that I needed more shooting experience, more videography experience. And that's where I went back to Rogers TV at Peel and said, I need to go out on shoots and I need to learn to shoot and edit so that I can, I can beef up my, my demo. The, the whole aspect of you being the, the first person in North America to both be a reporter and anchor wearing a hijab on air. How does it feel to be that person to break through uh, to break to break the stigma and, and and make that milestone it is really exciting especially because growing up when i was watching tv and i consider going into this field i didn't have anyone that i could look to as a role model and say i want to be like her right i had to imagine myself in that position and sometimes it's tough when you don't see people who look like you in those positions it's it's hard to imagine that you could be there and that it's a place that you could belong in and thrive in um, I'm really lucky that my family, especially my mom, was someone who encouraged me to go after my goals and my dreams um, and not let, you know, something that I chosen to wear be a barrier to that. And, you know, say just because no one else has done it doesn't mean you can't be the first. And so I had a lot of encouragement and support at home. Um, and, you know, it's it's exciting uh, but it's also, uh, there's a lot of pressure that comes along with it. It often feels like I don't have room to be mediocre. I don't have room to fail. I, I have to be excellent. Uh, I have to make sure that there is no other reason that someone can point to as to why I shouldn't be here other than my hijab. Um, and so, you know, 
there's a lot of pressure that comes with being the first and for a long time being the only, but at the same time, uh, you know, I, I feel like I cracked open the door a little bit, you know, after I worked at CTV Kitchener, um, at least two other women in hijab have been on air and television news in Canada, one being uh, Faria Nakbi Mohammed, who uh, works in Montreal for City Montreal, and Zarka Nawaz, who's known as the founder for of um, the creator of Little Mosque on the Prairie. She was um, hosting uh, a 6 p.m. newscast in Saskatchewan uh, in 2019. I don't think she does anymore. But being able to see more faces like me, um, you know, so that the pressure isn't just all on me. I don't have to shoulder the burden alone. But also, you know, being able to say, hey, look, the sky didn't fall. And, you know, women who look like this can do this job and do it well, and it shouldn't be a barrier. You can catch the full interview on rogerstv.com and our YouTube channel. Your region this week's at home edition continues after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> 